Father Bear Comes Home, an I Can Read book by Elsie Homeland Menorah. Pictures by Maurice Sendak. Little Bear and Owl. Little Bear, said Mother Bear, can you be my fisherman? Yes, I can, said Little Bear. Good, said Mother Bear. Will you go down to the river? Will you catch a fish for us? Yes, I will, said Little Bear. So Little Bear went down to the river, and there he saw Owl. Owl was sitting on a log. Hello, Little Bear, said Owl. Hello, Owl, said Little Bear. Father Bear is not home. He is fishing on the ocean. But Mother Bear wants a fish now, so I have to catch one. Good, said Owl. Catch one. Little Bear fished. I have one, he said. Is it too little? It looks good to me, said Owl. Well, said Little Bear, Father Bear can catch big fish. He sails in a big boat, too. Owl said, Someday you will be a big bear. You will catch big fish, and you will sail in a boat like Father Bear. I know what, said Little Bear. We can make believe. The log can be a boat. I will be Father Bear. You can be you, and we are fishing. Where are we fishing? asked Owl. On the ocean, said Little Bear. All right, said Owl. Hooray! said Little Bear. See what I have? What is it? asked Owl. An octopus, said Little Bear. Oh, said Owl. Let's see what I have. What is it? asked Little Bear. A whale, said Owl. But a whale is too big, said Little Bear. This is a little whale, said Owl. Just then, Mother Bear came along. Where is the fish? she asked. Little Bear laughed. He said, How about an octopus? An octopus? said Mother Bear. Well, then, said Owl, How about a little whale? A whale? said Mother Bear. No, thank you, no whale. Then how about this fish, said Little Bear. Yes, thank you, said Mother Bear. That is just what I want. Little Bear said, You will see, when I'm as big as Father Bear, I will catch a real octopus. Yes, and sail in a real boat, said Owl. I know it, said Mother Bear. Owl said, Little Bear fishes very well. Oh, yes, said Mother Bear. He fishes very well indeed. He is a real fisherman, just like his father. Father Bear Comes Home Hello, Hen. Hello, Little Bear. Guess what? said Little Bear. What? Father Bear is coming home today. Is he? said Hen. Where was he? Fishing? said Little Bear. Out on the ocean, far out on the ocean. My, said Hen. Out on the ocean, well. Yes, said Little Bear. And what if he saw a mermaid? A mermaid, said Hen. Yes, a little mermaid, said Little Bear. Maybe she could come home with him. Ooh, said Hen. A mermaid at your house. I want to see her. I'm coming home with you. They walked along, and there was Duck. Hello, Duck, said Little Bear. 
father bear's coming home today. Guess where he was? Where? asked Duck. Fishing, said Little Bear. Far out on the ocean, out where the mermaids are, maybe. Yes, said Hen, and we are going to see one. What is a mermaid like? asked Duck. A mermaid, said Little Bear. Why, a mermaid is very pretty. A mermaid's hair is blue and green, like the ocean, blue and green. She's coming home with Father Bear, said Hen. Oh, said Duck. I want to see her too. I'm coming home with you. They walked along, and there was Cat. Hello, Cat, said Little Bear. Father Bear is coming home today. He was fishing on the ocean, far out on the ocean. Yes, said Hen, out where the mermaids are. And, said Duck, we're going to see one. Where are you going to see one? asked the cat. One is coming home with Father Bear, said Hen. Yes, said Duck, and her hair is blue and green. And maybe her eyes are silver, said Little Bear. Silver like the moon. Silver eyes, said Cat. How pretty. I will have to see her. I am coming home with you. They walked along, and there was Little Bear's house, and there was Father Bear. He had come home. Little Bear ran to Father Bear and hugged him. Father Bear hugged Little Bear. Then Father Bear said hello to Hen and Duck and Cat. We have to see the mermaid, said Hen. Her hair is blue and green, said Duck. Her eyes are silver like the moon, said Cat. And she's very pretty, said Hen. How nice, said Father Bear. Where is she? You have her, said Hen and Duck and Cat. Oh, said Father Bear. He looked at Little Bear. No mermaid, asked Little Bear. No little mermaid? No, said Father Bear, no little mermaid. Well, said Hen. My, said Duck. Really, said Cat. They all looked at Little Bear. But I said maybe, said Little Bear. I did say maybe. Come now, said Father Bear. See what I have for all of you. Seashells. You can hear the ocean in them, and maybe you can hear the mermaids, too. Maybe. Hiccups. Little Bear was happy. Father Bear was home. He was in his chair reading. Cat, Duck, Hen, and Little Bear were playing with the seashells. They were trying to hear the ocean. I hear it said Cat. So do I, said Duck. I do too, said Hen. I do hip too, said Little Bear. Hip, he said again. You have the hiccup, said Cat. Have you some water, Little Bear, said Mother Bear. So Little Bear had some water, but he did not stop hiccuping. Hello, everyone. Owl was at the door. Hello, Owl, said Mother Bear. You are the very one for us. You are always so wise. Water will not stop Little Bear's hiccups. What can we do? Well, now, said Owl, water is very good, but he must hold his breath, too. Hip, said Little Bear. Hip, how can I hip, hold my hip? Breath, too. <laughs> you can, said Owl. Try. 
Little Bear did as Owl said. See? said Little Bear. No more. <laughs> Hiccups! He was hiccuping again. This always works, said Cat. And he gave Little Bear a slap on the back. Oof! said Little Bear. <laughs> That's not <laughs> any good. Someone is by the door, said Cat. Someone is coming in. Little Bear laughed. Look at <coughs> that, he said. It's <coughs> only Duck and Hen. Did we make the hiccups go away? asked Duck. No, <coughs> you did not, said Little Bear. Father Bear roared. There is too much noise here. Who is making all that noise? He looked at Owl, Cat, Hen, and Duck. How can I read with all that noise? He asked. And he looked at Little Bear. Noise? said Little Bear. I was only hiccuping. What was that? said Father Bear. Hiccuping said Little Bear. I was only hiccuping. Father Bear laughed. Hiccuping, he said. I can't hear any hiccups. But I was hiccuping, said Little Bear. All right, said Father Bear. Hiccup for me. But Little Bear could not do it. Come now, said Father Bear. One, two, three. Hiccup! No, Little Bear could not do it. Well, well, said Father Bear. I guess he can't hiccup anymore. Why should he, said Mother Bear. Who wants hiccups anyway, said Hen. That's right, said Cat and Duck. Who wants hiccups? Owl said, you can still stop them my way. Little Bear didn't really try. They all laughed and Owl laughed too. You just have to know how to do it, said Owl. That's right, said Father Bear. You just have to know how to do it. Little Bear's Mermaid We can picnic here, said Mother Bear. It is nice here by the river. Let's go for a swim, said Father Bear. Owl said, Little Bear swims like a fish. Yes, said Little Bear. But mermaids swim best of all. I wish we had a mermaid. Maybe there is a mermaid in the river. I never saw one, said Cat. Well, said Little Bear, she may be shy. She may not want us to see her. If we could make believe we are asleep, she might come and look at us. Would she like us? asked Hen. Of course, said Little Bear. She might want to play with you, said Mother Bear. Then I would jump up and play with her, said Little Bear. Oh, said Owl, but if she is shy, she might jump back in the river. Then all we could see would be bubbles. I see some bubbles now, said Little Bear. And where there are bubbles, there may be a mermaid. I'm going in. If you find a mermaid, said Father Bear, ask her to picnic with us. Yes, do that, said Mother Bear. Ask her. I will, said Little Bear, because you never can tell. She might really come back with me. Yes, indeed, said Father Bear. She might really come back with you. 
because you never can tell about mermaids. You never can tell. The end. Thanks for watching, friends. Purchase my book at facebook.com Tumsky and Mrs. Small slash shop. Look for the link below under Show More. My favorite part is when he pulls those roots right out of the ground. And then he takes off down the path to make new friends. And my favorite part is when the big bear chases him and they have to run and run and run. <laughs> yeah. I think my favorite part when when he fell out of a water barrel and landed on his tummy and uh, oh my goodness he broke his arm oh but that hurt they gotta hurt oh guys that's gotta hurt oh yeah mm -hmm. I liked it when Al followed him everywhere he went yep 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 mm. cool too. Oh, my favorite part was when they, the fishermen, they jumped on the boat and up. Yeah, they swam away. Yeah, it was funny. Even though they did not have a flamingo in the story. Yeah. Well, uh, Fisherboo, I, Fisherboo, still like it. Yep. Subscribing is free. Thank you so much for your support. We cannot do this without you. Subscribing is free. Click the bell for new shows. And look under show more.